Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a Polly's beer. <clears throat> this one's called Great Good OK. This is a pale ale at 4.8%. There it is. I thought this was originally a sour. Don't know why I did. I just did and that's why I've not drank it yet because it's been in the fridge and I thought it was a sour and sours aren't my drinks. I mean, I like them but usually a sour is for the missus and that's why I've not had it. But it's a pale so I'm having it today. Um, it's a vegan friendly beer, there's no guff on the back, um, and this can is quite nice, just lovely floral can art. simple but nice. Anyway, let's crack it open, see what we got. Right, there's the beer, lovely hazy on the inside, but it is. Some dirt on the inside of the glass, you can probably see it there. Uh, but lovely hazy sh uh, straw yellow colour with a bright white compact head. Looks lovely. Let's get a smell and see what we get, shall we? Passion fruits, mangoes. It's got a nice herbal, earthy smell to it as well. Slightly piney. Quite pithy. It's a nice bit punch of stone fruits. This smells fantastic. It's got a mouthful of body car. Carbs light medium, bodies light. Right. That's nice, it's refreshing. Nice little juiciness in there. Quite crisp as well. It's good for a day like this. It is currently like half six sunny it's been like 23 24 degrees today when you just want a nice cold drink this feels like it's a good one um it's gonna be all taste shall we cheers oh, that's nice that's a nice though 4.8 so it's uh not sessionable it's above sessionable but it's still nice Refreshing drink. Good pint of this. Nice and cold. Be really good. Um, it's fruity, but still has a nice piney, slightly bitterness, almost resinous taste to it. Um, mangoes, passion fruits, a little bit of stone fruit, not as much as you can smell. Um, and like I said, on the, on the smell, it's earthy, it's herbal, it's got a nice piney, resinous flavour to it. Um, it's slightly pithy. It's really nice. Polly's have done a good uh, good beer. It's been a while since I've had a good, well, I say good Polly's, but it's been a while since I've had a Polly's. And it's been a while since I've had a good pale. That is refreshing. It's refreshing. It's juicy. It's, cut, it's crisp. It's so, so easy to drink. It's nice. That's really, really good. I like that. I'm going away and enjoying it. Um, so. Wow. Well, that's a, there's a hop in here I've not seen. Laurel. Laurel hops. Anyway, so Polly's Great Good OK. Um, pale Ale at 4.8. Well, it's great. Uh, pardon me. And I'm going to give it a good 8 to make it rhyme. Because why not? Um, yeah, it's a good beer. Well, it's a great beer. Um, I like it. It's an 8 out of 10. Really, really nice. It's refreshing for a pale ale. Uh. Pardon me. Sorry. Sat there. Uh, yeah, it's refreshing for a pale ale. It's really nice. So... If you have had Polly's Great Good OK Pale Ale, um, let me know, let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Polly's website down below. Where you can pick one up, I don't know, because it's been a while since I've been on the website. This came from the Market Bottle Shop. Ooh, a good couple months ago. Oh, that there? A good couple months ago now, it's been, uh, been in the fridge. Uh, but you know what? I think this is the perfect weather for it. I think any other weather, it wouldn't have worked as well. The hot weather, the sun, the 24, 25 degrees, perfect for this kind of beer. If you can get a pint of it, get a pint of it. Go for it. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down. All that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe to doing so, the show must go on, etc, etc, et so, uh, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later.